Alright guys, welcome back to another how to use guide. We have a really fun one today. We are going to be talking about Palmon. I got Justin with me. Hey, what's going on everybody? We're really excited to talk about this, uh, I don't know, it looks like a cross between a chinchilla and a red panda. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's uh, kind of like the laziest evolution we've ever seen. It just, first it stands up on two legs and then it gets some scruffy hair and boom, that's all you get. But, for what it is, I like it. Yeah, I think Palmy's the most adorable of the three. What do you think? Dude, it's so little in game. It's so fluffy. He's so fluffy. Yeah, so <laughs> this is actually legit. So it's adorable. We're big fans. I would. This would be a Pokemon I would love to have in life. Same, same. Uh, so let's talk about this guy. Really good ability, Zero. Really good stats, actually, too. So we're actually cooking here. This is no joke. Uh, if we're talking Smogon tiers, this is easily, for me, like, are you to UU easily. Right, and, and depending on the viability of some of his moves that we'll get into when we talk about the sets, could have some longevity in OU, just a lot depending Correct. on that. So Correct. So, but again, these sets, as usual, for the PMC... Uh, we really appreciate your guys' continued love and support. Smash that like button if you appreciate the content, if you like Pawmot, and we hope today is the day that we earn your subscription. If you see that big button down there, if it's red, feel free to click it and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you stay up to date with every single piece of Gen 9 Scarlet and Violet news from the local masters over here at the PMC. All right, so we did use this Pokemon in a battle video. Uh, we tested it out on the 3v3 ladder. We will link that in the description below. So, Zero, uh, let's, you want to talk about his abilities first? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, he's got three really, really good abilities, and all of them are pretty viable. We've got Iron Fist. Uh, gives a 20% boost to punching moves. He has Natural Cure, which is uh, really awesome. When you switch out, you shed your status condition. And uh -huh. then he's got Volt Absorb. When you switch in and get hit by an electric move, you heal rather than take any damage. So complete immunity and heal. Yep. Like I said, three really, really awesome abilities. Especially if you have like a like a Gyarados on your team, something that really wants to, you know, water and elect, uh, water flying, really wants to draw an electric type attack. So something like this Volt Observer could be a good partner uh, on your squad to be able to switch in and take that hit for you in a 3v3 scenario. Yeah, and then we have uh, 115 base attack. That's really strong, especially when you couple it with Iron yeah. Fist. For reference for people out there, Weavile is 120. Exactly. exactly. So you're you're kind of hitting that very similar yep. echelon. Yep. And then 105 speed zero is actually like, it's S minus, but that's still an S rank speed. Yeah, that puts you, you speed tie with Zoroark. Uh, it puts you above Garchomp. That's pretty big. And then it puts you it above. It also puts you, very, very importantly, that puts you above Chi Yu. Yes, it puts you above Chi Yu. It puts you above Chi Yu. Chi Yu is only Charizard. Base Charizard will be yep. in the mix soon. Salamence, Star Raptor. You, you're checking a lot of boxes here in this speed tier. And then, uh, you know, Hydreigon, Haxorus. Uh, the reason that we're saying all these dragons, spoiler alert, this thing learns Ice Punch with yeah. Iron Fist. Yeah. I'm just going to spoil the lead right now for people that are wondering, like, what are these guys talking about before you think that we're off our rock? He gets Ice Punch. So, like, he's it's really important that he outspeeds Garchomp because he one-shots Garchomp. Last thing to note before we get into the sets, he is a fighting and electric type, which is a super unique typing. And it's Brand an new. amazing, it's an amazing dual stab offensively. It is so powerful. Electric is one of the best stabs in the game. Fighting is one of the best stabs in the game. And he's got both. Uh, and they're actually halfway decent defensive typings too, in terms of what he can switch in on without even the Volt Absorb immunity. Let's get into the sets. We've got the Palmont 3v3 set. Now we're going to run Jolly. 252 speed, 252 attack. Put that extra four wherever you like, whether that be HP defense or special defense. We're gonna yep. we're gonna run Iron Fist. I'd personally go physical defense just because he's got 10 base higher. So just lean into it a little bit. He might actually. Live. Yeah, we're gonna run Terra fighting, and we are gonna be running the punching gloves. So I'll give you the moves. We'll talk about the items and the move set itself. Close combat, Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, and Ice Punch. So, Justin, talk about the punching gloves here a second. Yeah, so 
as we mentioned in our battle video, uh, link will be in the description. We've actually already shown this dude on the channel. Uh, we talked about the, the punching gloves. Might call them the boxing gloves on accident, but either way. Uh, on showdown right now, it's 1.1 boosted. It's 10% boost in damage to punching moves, uh, but that's not a correct. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a 50%, 1.5. And then it also makes your punching moves immune to adverse on contact effects. So iron barbs, flame body, rocky helmet, rough skin, etc., etc., etc. So that's actually like insanely powerful. Not only is it, but it also makes you immune to some of like like some of the the highest things that people use as defensive tools against physical. So. Right. Um, yeah, all the moves here are boosted by Iron Fist and Punching Gloves, giving you a 70% uh, bonus total to all of the attacks on this set. Correct. Close Combat is a punching move. We've used this before with Iron Fist and my main man, my full-time Diddy Kong, Infernape. So this is basically, and this dude is faster than Infernape. Or no, he's slower by three, but he's stronger than Infernape. Infernape has 108 speed, but only 104 for both offenses. This dude doesn't have special attack. It's only physical, so a little bit lopsided, but still 115 versus 104. Uh, so basically, this is like, in some ways, a better Infernape, in ter especially in terms of like his his potential for his close combats and mock punches. Yeah, and he's got access to Ice Punch, which is something that Infernape does not have. Which is a big deal, Zero. So we've got three stab moves here to maximize the damage, including priority and mock punch. Yep. The the, the fact, like, this this move set combination, it, it, I do want to shout out, just give a special shout, that he does get fire punch. Yes, yeah. So, so you, you could slot that in there if you're really, really worried about it. So just, you take this set and flavor and, and season to taste, and if you need fire punch, you slot it in wherever you think it might fit. Uh, so yeah, this dude, uh, the, the coverage is Terramax fighting to maximize intimidate, or excuse me, to maximize immediate damage output without any like setup. Like, cause again, this is what we talked about since like day one of Terra stab priority, double dip Terra. Exactly. Exactly. And he's going to be a really good beneficiary of it. And then this is iron fist and then boxing gloves on top of that. So his mock punches are actually insanely scary, even though we're jolly, not at him. All right, so that's going to do it for that set. Let's move on to another 3v3 set before we hit our VGC set. So this is the Palmont 3v3 utility set. We're going to run the same exact EV spread. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. So now... When you look at his EVs like him, there's only kind of one way to do it. I, I have all three abilities listed here, and we will get to that in a second. There's a reason for some of the ones that you would want to run. And we're going to run Heavy Duty Boots here. Um, I think Heavy Duty Boots, you could potentially run a Sash, but in a, in a meta where hazards are actually a thing, I think Heavy Duty Boots is the, the best option, especially if you're going to be Volt switching in and out. So let's get on to the moves. We've got Revival Blessing, which we will talk about in a second. Volt Switch, Thunder Punch, and then Nuzzle slash Ice Punch. And again, special shout out or fire punch, depending if your team needs it. But exactly, so, probably, you know, it, it it is worth just for coverage. Justin, tell the people about Revival Blessing. So Revival Blessing is a brand new move. Uh, only two Pokemon in the entire Paldea decks right now get access to it. Uh, it's this Palmont and then the new Bug Psychic type Rabska. That's it, and it's pretty unique and insane and cracked and this is a mind blower that they've ever this is a lever i never thought that they'd pull we have had ways to you know heal pokemon just like we do in game with items we've had ways to shrug off statuses or be immune to statuses or heal the statuses in game just like we do or you know in competitive just like we do in game you know, with items, but the one item that we've never been able to replace in game yet is a revive zero. Yeah, and uh, revival blessing is a revive. Yeah, so it revives a KO'd ally Pokemon and gives them fifty percent of their uh, like bait or max HP. Yep. Uh, and there's no draw. It's not like Memento or Healing Wish where you die to do this. Yeah, you, you're not you, knocking out the user to do this. 
Yeah. You're not trading a Pokemon. You're literally just... Po- and it only has one PP, so it's once per battle. Yeah, which, thank goodness. Uh, this means that now a 3v3 is a 3v4. Exactly. Because you could use Revive a Blessing if they don't KO you that turn, then it's, uh, you know... And he's got a 105 speed, so he outspeeds 90% of the things in the... Yeah, so he, it's, it's pretty likely that he's going to get it off, and then if you don't KO him that turn and make it a waste, a quote-unquote wasted turn, then he's probably going to Thunder Punch you right in the face. Or even Mock Punch. Like, he, the fact that he has Stab Mock Punch, he's a great revenge kill. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is uh, this is really, 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 really nuts. Now, we have to do a disclaimer. At the time of recording this video, our Palmot set on our battle video that we released earlier, week again link will be in the description if you have not checked it out yet please go check it out after you have done with this guide uh where we will be using the set that brandon showed off in the first set on this video yep uh we are not showing off revival blessing because right now showdown is there is a bug with the coding of this brand new mechanic they haven't got it all worked out yet it's only been a couple days we just got to give them time let's be patient yep. but yep. as soon as it is live we will be uh, showing that off, and at the time if you're watching in the future, there will be another link in the description for that. So, we'll run through the abilities and why you want to run them really quick, and then we'll run into our last set. Yeah, dude, tell me tell me about the three abilities you got listed here, because this is actually important. I think I think it's really interesting and kind of kind of cool. You don't see this very often. Yeah, so Iron Fist is the ability that you absolutely want to run if you are running Ice Punch. Like, if you're afraid of things like Garchomp, or if you're afraid of, you know, yeah. whatever you know uh settlements or like that offensive pivot offensive utility yeah pivot. then then take if you're if you put ice punch on this set take yep. iron fist yep um natural cure and volt absorb are team dependent use volt yep. absorb for teams with squishy water and flying pokemon like quackquavo and halucha um because Ooh, you good shout right there you know you could you know swap in and you know take a thunderbolt or something for them uh, and then use Natural Cure if you've got a really offensive team that you need to, like, sponge status effects. So, like, say you've got a Quack Quavel, you can't afford for that to get burned, or you you can't afford for your uh, your tank to get poisoned, so you switch the Palmod in and, yeah. you know, turn the tide that way, because then you could, like, Thunder Punch, or, uh, you know, you could, you're just the fact that you are an electric type, you could switch in on a Toxic from Toxapex and then threaten damage, so... Um, Big damage too. Yeah, and then the last thing I wanted to say about this set, uh, Volt Switch is really, really nice. You can just yeah, that's spam a zero it. spec. You can spam Volt Switch if they don't have a ground type, or if you have like a type advantage where you think that they would be afraid to switch in. Uh, you know, just like yeah. I mean, we've shown this off before with with the various different Rotom forms. We love Maytag here. He's a he's a absolute staple of the channel. And how many times has it been to where we get to a point where it's like, all right, yeah, we just kill that, and now we can spam Volt Switch the rest of the game. Yep. All right. It's so good. Be- pivoting is so powerful. Uh, the higher you go in the ladder, the pivots are kind of what makes the game. Last set we got for you guys here. We've got oh, the VGC baby. Go. set, buddy. I know you're pumped about this. Yeah, so he does get a couple of really notable uh, moves in his pool, in his repertoire. Mm -hmm. Uh, for VGC. Notably, you know, first and foremost being Fake Out. Right. Like, that's one of the most staple moves that have ever stapled a piece of paper in VGC. You know what I mean? Like, that's the staple of all staples. Yeah. So, Fake Out's really, really strong. 115 attack with Fake Out. That's great. Uh, it, you know, we want to note here, probably not going to run Natural Cure in VGC. That's just my personal opinion. I think, Zero, you might agree. There's, it is dependent. You can, but for me, Volt Absorb is a great option for VGC because that means that you could have a partner that's spamming Discharge, which has a 30% paralysis, spreads and hits the whole field, including your allies, which then means it would be healing your Palmont. And if your Palmont has, uh, like, this set is Focus Sash, but you'd also run, like, Life Orb. Yeah, you could also run the Covert Cloak so that, you know, you can't be faked out. You would take the damage, but you wouldn't flinch. You won't flinch from the fake out, so you can move turn one. Yep, that's a great call. So, uh, and then it also gets Nuzzle, which we've talked about in other sets. Uh, Charm is great at a 105 speed to be able to just point click minus two attack is actually huge, and it's not Prankster, so you could still hit Dark types. And you're, again, we're outspeeding um, Chi Yu. We are not outspeeding the uh, 
Chen Pao, but we, again, with the Focus Sash potential set, you could then uh, just ch live the hit on the Sash and then charm him. Yeah, and then if you're if you're in on your first turn, that's a that's a fake out into whatever your partner's move is, and that's a KO. Uh, Nuzzle's just great. It's good speed control. Speed control is like one of the most important things in VGC, right, bro? Right, right. Yeah, and 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 it's and it actually is damage. It's not just. It can't miss like T Wave, and it's actual damage too. It's not a lot of damage, but it is damage. Right. It breaks sashes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Break a multi scale on that D Knight. Let's try to get saucy with you. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to note, obviously, here again, you can run the very first set or any kind of variation. Again, Ice Punch and Fire Punch are both great. Mock Punch and Close Combat, those are great. For all, if you want to go more offensive, but we're just trying to show off all the different kind of VGC moves that this thing can get. Like the last uh, big tech here is obviously entrainment. Now, this to me is like the standout of using Palm Out for VGC. This to me is probably the VGC set that I want to try most with this guy, other than just using, you know, standard go fast, punch hard. Yeah. Um, it's. it's it, it's nice because you can, you know, you can use it to like erase detrimental vin uh, abilities like Tront um, on slacking and give it Iron Fist now, or you can give Iron Fist to a Pokemon that doesn't necessarily get it, but has like a wide array of punching moves, like something like Ursaluna, you know, like when, when oh yeah, Hariyama, like when Ursaluna gets in the game that we, that's been confirmed yeah. uh, and it learns all of the elemental punches. So that, that door is just going to get opened up further and further. It's going to get better and better as time goes on. Yeah, Iron Fist is a great ability for a wide array of Pokemon, especially now that they've given close combat to Pokemon that never have, like Caesar. So yes, Technician is great, but now you could potentially have uh, Iron Fist boosted Bullet Punch with Iron Fist close combat with Boxing Glove Caesar. Yeah. Next to a Palma. That you know what I mean? So like, there's there's some there's some cool saucy tech with Entrainment. I mean, even Volt Absorb is good too, but I would probably go Entrainment Iron Fist. Yep. Uh, other than that. Uh, you know, Thunder Punch is just the most reliable damage he has. Again, we've already talked about the other damaging moves that he could get. Revival Blessing or Protect, both of those are great in VGC because, you know, Protect is just S plus now that there's no Dynamax. Like, Protect is actually, like, even better than it ever was. Uh, and Revival Blessing, obviously, now making it a 5v4 rather than a 4v4, like we already talked about. Just the potential here is kind of insane. Like, if your main dies but then you bring him back and they have to kill it like oh, that's a lot <laughs> that's a big deal yeah like imagine him reviving a chi you back to 50 even 50 yeah, percent yeah. at you know what i mean yeah or or or, or chen pao with you know stab sucker punch stab ice uh ice shard all right guys we hope you enjoyed the set let us know in the comments below which set was your favorite what set you are going to run on palma and what you think about palma in general. Justin, any closing thoughts really quick before we get out of here? Yeah, buddy. As always, uh, on the PMC, these are just the dipping your toe into the pool. This is just our initial kind of a thoughts to get your, your brain rolling. This is not the only three sets to run Palma. There's definitely more uh, combinations. And also, like we said, it's like mix and match. Maybe you like Ice Punch from this set and this from that set and this. Mix and match here. These are just three uh kind of template sets that you can kind of go based off of and use this to hit the ground running and maybe maybe you have your own creative spin on it let us know down the what we want to know about we love this poke we want to know what you like about it too well said well said we will catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching until next time i've been zero and i'm justin council's adjourned <laughs>